If today you are seen, then it's another. That's why I feel like no other. Hey, this is David the Shepherd School, and what you've got uh, there in the picture is some sumac berries. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make some sumac lemonade, okay? And uh, just a second, I'll cut to a video of uh, me picking some sumac out on the side of the road. Now, staghorn sumac, uh, basically there's all sorts of sumacs, and they're all over North America and Africa and Asia. They're all over the place. But anyway, uh, most all of them, can be used to make this this uh, lemonade and uh, a lot of people you might confuse it with poisonous sumac well poisonous sumac is white and it grows in between where the uh, the branches intersect with the leaves whereas the uh, the actual uh, sumac we use come at the end of the branches and so all I did is I went out um, and, and got some at the edge of a clearing on the side of the road and uh, cuts it off. Normally you're not wanting to harvest any kind of plants off the side of the road because uh, heavy metals and and the toxicity from uh, you know road splat or whatever kind of aggregates up in the soil but you know I was driving by and I seen it and I said hey this would be cool. Okay here's some uh, sumac okay this is about the most simplest thing to make. Um, unlike a lot of other teas, you know, you don't want to use hot water because hot water is going to bring out the tannins in the uh, in the uh, woody part. Okay, so you want to use cold water, and you also want to um, get as much berry and cut off as much plant matter as you can. So we're just going to kind of break the berries off and we're just going to do that till we fill this up okay and it's it's a little oily it's a little oily a little sticky and that's okay because that's what you're wanting to get so we gonna crush a bunch of these up you when we get it full we'll kind of crush it up a little bit then we'll come back to the next step all right, there's our colander full of uh, of the berries, just in a uh, a bowl there, and you're just going to um, use lukewarm or cold water. kind of bruise them up a little bit it's a little late I guess in the year to be doing this since it's in September you know. August is probably a little better but uh, you can try different strengths throughout the year. So we're just going to let that uh, sit and soak for a little while. Come back about 30 minutes or so. Okay, so we've let it sit and steep. And now we've got a nice lemonade kind of tart, it's got citric acid in it. So now we're just going to uh, strain. I'm going to do this twice, once to get all the big stuff out and then I'll come back with a cheesecloth.
Now this is drinkable as it is, you know, once it's strained. But uh, some people like to add sugar to it. And uh, I admit I'm one of those people. So I'm going to strain this out. And then we'll come back and uh, put some sugar in it. Alright, so that's our finished product. A little like uh, uh, wheat lemonade. It's a little tart. Uh, I only put about a third of a cup of sugar. You can put more or less depending on your taste. It's not bitter like uh, tea would be. And so you really don't need any, uh, any sugar. But, uh, you know, I like it that way. Uh, it'd probably be a little stronger had I did a little early in the year, but it wasn't as uh, uh, didn't have as much sap on the outside of the uh, the berries. But a pretty good in vitamin C, and uh, you know, pretty good little drink. I've heard that it makes some really good wine, but if you're going to make wine, you're going to have to add a lot more sugar to it than just a third of a cup. Um, so, you know, it's a pretty easy project, pretty easy to do. But I have to warn you. If you're going to go out into the wild and, and, and pull up and eat vegetation, you better do more than just look at a YouTube video. You better get you a good plant identification book with some good uh, pictures. So, Because I'd hate for you to poison yourself. But uh, that's all there is to it. And until next time, you can always catch us online at www.tngun.com. I've got a plan. Fits my point of view. I'm getting